Right this evening, I've uh, come back to the uh, garlic fields, uh, which I'm hoping are still there. I'm pretty sure they will be. But tonight, this evening, um, it's not as windy. Um, still a bit on the cold side, cold side, considering we're at the end of April. It's May next week, and uh, yeah, it's still a bit on the cold side. So what I'm hoping this evening is a lot less wind, uh, a bit of light hitting the uh, wild garlic, and um, and this time the uh, ground hopefully won't be as saturated, so I can uh, get on my knees and get really low with a tripod and uh, try and get them shot I wanted to get last time. Uh, but couldn't so we'll head to these uh, fields and uh, see if we can find different compositions this time than we had last time So I've set one composition here. Um, I've got this tree right in the uh, center over there. I've got one going off on the right here and trying to fit these little ones in the left and really concentrate on these uh, wild garlic in the foreground. Now, I think the light is gonna come out possibly now just to give me some light on this. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fo fo focus on the foreground, the midground and the uh, background there and focus stack these images. So the, uh, the light's not really playing ball today, as usual, every time I go somewhere. Um, it's a nice mixture of bluebells in there, but... Uh, let's go back to that tree that I took last time with a path. See if we can uh, do something different with that. There are some bluebells mixed in here. It'd be nice if I can get something... In the foreground for that. Yeah, this is that tree we had last time. I might take a. Yeah, I'll see if I can get that blue bell on that. That'd be nice. What I've done with this one is gone pretty low again. Um, I wanted to get that one single big bluebell in the foreground um, just out of interest and just beyond that there's a beautiful sea of wild garlic uh, in the frame and I do love the uh, the roots that are on the back of the tree here uh, going up uh, very interesting and the uh, trees in the background so yeah if that's any good I'll pop that one up now
so what I've done over here um, I've gone very low this time and sort of placed myself uh, putting the pathway right in the center and then on the left and the right you've got this uh, bed of wild garlic and that beautiful huge tree in the background there uh, once again that swing is a bit distracting but I'm probably going to pull that out in post hopefully um, but yeah um, I've set the shop at the shot up here now uh, and I think I'm just gonna wait oh, if I just had a bit of light just for this shot it would be really really good so I might just hang on and uh, wishful thinking and hope we get some sort of light coming through uh, would be awesome <music> frustrating because the light plays tricks with you you think that the lights trying to come through over on that side uh, but it's just not spilling in here where I want it um, oh come on it would be really nice if it just lit this up for me it would be perfect you know that's what I came here I just wanted that nice warm evening glow on this um, I'm noticing a little hill over there and uh, I might have a look over there I might be able to do something with that little hill there nice little hill going down with the wild garlic and uh, see if we can uh, figure out a composition over there but in the meantime I'm still hanging on clinging to hope that just a bit of light can come through here <laughs> So I'm just on this little tiny hill here I was looking at the composition over there and was sort of my eye was pulled to this side uh, where the sort of hill just rolls over and down towards the river but what I've tried to do here uh, I've got a nice tree on the in the frame over here I've got the river there in the background and uh, this dead tree over there and a nice bedding of wild garlic going down towards the river what would be the jewel here, if that sun just came out there, I could do an F-16, get a starburst coming through the trees, a bit of light spilling over here would be perfect, but uh, that's not happening. So, uh, yeah, this composition caught my eye, so hopefully uh, that'll be a nice one. I'm also looking around here. Um, there's a tree right behind me as that's catching my eye here. I like this one that's going off there as well. Uh, I think I'll uh, yeah I think I'll have a composition over here as well with this one but um, I'm so gutted about the light I really wanted the light to come out but never mind it is what it is so I also like this shot right in front of me here um, I've got this tree just kind of center left over here uh, this tree going off vertically on an angle and this one on an angle and that's what I like about this is the angles going off the frame towards the left and uh, I'm gonna get this shot I think I'm gonna go low here capture the uh, garlic right in the foreground and uh, hopefully this will be a nice interesting shot I think
love the sort of roots on this uh, tree again just crawling up the uh, tree itself uh, it looks really interesting especially with the uh, wild garlic underneath it looks really really good um, I'm gonna get a shot of this I think um, which which way I think I'm gonna take a shot vertically of this tree and the tree on the side here I think if I put the big tree which I shot early, earlier on, I think that would be too distracting uh, as a shot. And I think, yeah, I think vertically this looks nice. Go low, get the uh, close-up of these wild garlic and uh, capture the detail on that tree and that other tree that goes off to the uh, right of the frame. Uh, looks nice. <laughs> done here I think what I'm gonna do now is go just over onto the other side where there's a bit of wild gar garlic started growing over there uh, there was something on the way in that caught my eye so I'll uh, probably take a look at that for the uh, last shot um, right then um, now if you're on my Facebook I've just started a new face group Facebook group but it's only for people who have been on my one-to-one -one or workshops so if you're watching this and you've already been for a one-to-one -one with me or a workshop then uh, I'll leave the link below uh, to the uh, to the work workshop page or if you're interested at some point coming on a workshop then just join and click join and have a look so what the idea really is for is for a chance for the people who have uh, come on my workshops or one-to-ones and it's uh, it's just a sort of community page really where we can have a chat uh, I can get to see the images you took on the day because uh, I never get to chance I never get the chance to see any of your images so uh, yeah it, it's just another good way of uh, sharing your images uh, from our day out so I'll leave the link below uh, to my one-to-one -one and workshops and if you're interested in coming to workshop you can come on and click and join in or whatever so yeah so now I'm gonna head to this other patch and uh, see if we can uh, get a final composition from there So I don't think I'm going to be able to get into this patch uh, as it's kind of fenced off. Um, so I'm thinking of uh, zooming in with the camera from here really. Um, I think that would be the best bet. It's just a small patch of wild garlic over there. What I like about it is uh, you've got a group of three trees. Um, You've got one flat one going through the whole of the three trees. If I go that way a bit, I just don't like this branch that's sticking out of that. I want to try and lose that. I don't want that in the frame. I want to try and get these three green trees. Um, it's just the shapes. They look very interesting. Um, let's head down here a bit. That's better. Yeah, that's better, I think. Okay. So right, so what I've got here, I've got three main trees uh, from left to right, one at the centre, then you've got all this wild garlic right on the uh, 
on the uh, floor there by zooming in what would be perfect if I could get in there and get really low but I'm not going to get that but either way it really looks interesting uh, it looks like an interesting shot so that's what I'm going to do zoom in and uh, yeah if it's any good here it is <laughs> I think that's it for this vlog uh, yeah that's it for this vlog for this week a uh, bit unusual coming back again to the uh, where I was on my last vlog but you know you've got to come back to these places and keep trying at least this time there was a, a lot less wind uh, so hopefully uh, got some nice shots and something from a bit different from last time so anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed this vlog if you're interested in a one-to-one -one or workshop, uh, please drop me a uh, email and we'll sort something out either in Dinawi Quarry if you want to spend the day there or Gwyn Valley or if you want it nice and easy uh, from a car just around Snowdonia, an easy going route, uh, we can do that. So if you're interested in anything like that, uh, drop me a message and let me know. So that's it uh, from the uh, fields of wild garlic. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.